Fresh and Famous Radio. Fresh and Famous, home of the fresh music and famous interviews right now. We got a young money general on the line, Jay Mills. What's the deal, dog? What's good? What's good? What's going on, man? Cool. Man, how you... Nice, man. How you been, man? Like, like, how, how was your Grammy Awards weekend and everything like that? Everything was cool, man. You know, I took it easy. I really just stayed back in Miami. You know, I live in Miami now, so mm-hmm. I just stayed back in Miami and just, you know, I was really working on beats, you know, now that I got the Dead President's two mixtape out, I'm mm-hmm. kind of back on my producing thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got a bunch of music out. I'm kind of, you know, back in the cave with my producing thing, trying to perfect that for a couple months. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. Fresh and famous, man. Shout out to Sean Hurd, um, an aspiring actor who's coming out with something new pretty soon. We're going to get him on the line. But right now, Jay Mills, man, we got to know, dude, like, with Dead Presidents 2, you know, the fans are loving it, 25K downloads, you know, on that piff. How you feeling, man? Like, how does it feel to, you know, have that many fans, like, that love your music? To be honest with you, if 10 people downloaded it, it's still... It's still a win wow. situation for me. That's, you still got listeners. People wow. still listening. So I appreciate anybody who downloaded the mixtape. I appreciate all the feedback I'm getting from it. Good and bad. Because at the end of the day, bad. a bad opinion is still somebody's opinion. Right. The fact that they do. You know, sometimes it might be hate. But all bad opinions ain't hate. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes mm-hmm. you people say certain things and it might not, it might not be the best thing that you want to hear. Mm-hmm. But it might have came from their heart. You know, that don't necessarily mean they're not a fan. They might not just be, just feel what you just put out. They might not feel the mixtape. They might not feel the video. They might not feel the new song. Mm. That don't mean that they haven't been a fan of my music since No, No, No. Right. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's just however you want to look at it. If you try to compare your intro and your outro to Lil Wayne's Walk In and Walk Out on the Carter album. Oh, the fly in and fly out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, think he, I think he did three on there, but... If I, but at the end of the day, I understand what you're saying, and I kind of just felt like I wanted to give the mixtape a movie feel. Yeah. I wanted to give it that motion picture feel. I wanted to give it that. All right, you want to get some you want metaphors. You might get something about an ex girlfriend. Mm-hmm. You might get something real lyrical. You might get some down south. You might get some party music. You might get some real just smoke out music, or you know what I'm saying. However you want to look at it. But at the end of the day, I wanted to open the curtain and close the curtain the same way like on that same kind of vibe right. but when I did it and I thought about it I was like man it kind of it kind of do remind me of you know <laughs> how Wayne did the fly yeah, and the yeah. fly out thing but it's still I dope. Was, to be honest I wasn't even thinking about it when I did it wow. but it's still a dope concept yeah. you know, we're not the first people that use the, the, the same beat for the intro and the same beat for the outro right. you know, a couple rappers that did that before but Definitely. That's what's up. That's what's up. Young money is always family. So, you know, whatever decisions y'all make is the decisions y'all make. But we got Jay yeah, Mills right here. You know yeah, bad, yeah. Man. Definitely, definitely. I feel where you're coming from now. <laughs> Jay Mills on the line right here. The God was also a dope song, man. It was a really dope song. I liked it personally on the mixtape. I greatly us- appreciate it. I yeah. greatly appreciate that. Though. Greatly. And we want to talk God about that. Too. Like one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, and that's, I know it's a lot of fans' favorites too. Like, we want to talk about that too. Tell us why you called it The God. Honestly, the night I did that record, mm-hmm. I had that beat for about a year, mm-hmm. to be honest with you. But the night I did that record, I was just in one of them zones. Like, you know, the battle thing is getting the big stage now. You know what I'm saying? A shout out to everybody doing anything on the battle circuit. Shout out to Smack, you know, the whole bar, URL thing. And everything. All the battles, the battle circuits for right now. But I was just thinking about that. And I was thinking about, like, a couple rappers that's out right now. Nobody might not really know. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, I'm like, the wing that I had a couple dudes under. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Not like, and I'm not speaking upon, like, Fado and, like, Al Doe, because those are, like, my hype men, but those are, like, my friends. I'm not even speaking about them. Shout out to Fado, shout out to Al Doe. Right, right. I'm not even speaking about them. I'm just talking about rappers in general. Mm-hmm. Like, rappers that's coming up. Like, the whole, everybody just... It feels like right now lyrics are coming back. Not that they ever left, but they're coming back to the forefront. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. And I just feel like I feel like people look at me like like I'm every girl in the world and I'm bedrock. Like that solidifies my career and wow. defines me as an artist. Uh-huh. Not that it's a bad thing, because that's that's a part of my career and I'm I'll never take it back. I don't regret it. Mm. It was something that was good for me. I needed to see that. I needed to go on the road and perform in front of 30,000 people and do summer jams and 
mixed vegetables and you know I, I needed to do that I wasn't going to do that off doing battles and things like that so I needed that mm. but on the flip side I think people forgot about the fact that I'm from New York you forgot that I'm from Harlem you forgot that I'm I, I made you want to go to the end of a smack DVD and look at a battle mm -hmm. my YouTube battles is I got battles on YouTube. I got more views than people got views on their singles when wow. they do big million dollar videos. Yeah, yeah. So the whole thing with the guard, my mind state was just like respect me a little bit more. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Don't approach me like a new artist. You know what I'm saying? Or approach me as a guard with your hands touching. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. Don't approach me expecting the hug. And I'm like, nah, we ain't cool. Approach me as the guard. I don't even want to touch y'all, man. You, wow. should, you can't touch me. This wow. is a whole type of different situation. Whether I sold records mm -hmm. as a solo artist and I put my album out and I got a platinum plaque, whether or not, mm -hmm. I go in the booth and I do what I do. And that's going to remain the same until I die. You know what wow. I'm saying? So that's just the mind state I was in when I did The God. You know, definitely. I wasn't no shots at nobody. But it was definitely a, a stamp. It was definitely me putting my foot down. Like, yeah. Solidifying. I, I yeah. enough. Show a little respect. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? All praise is due. <laughs> wow, wow, Jay Mills, man. Wow, that's dope, dude. I feel exactly where you're coming from. And that puts the fresh and fresh and famous, you know, because that's some, that's some stepping up that you're doing, you know? Like, like, yeah. that's what it is. That's what it is. So we got Jay Mills on the line right here. So uh, yeah. it's it's also dope, too, that you got a song with Twista, man, like, you know, on the track with you. Where's Where has he been? Like, what's he been up to? Of course, definitely. Shout out to the big homie Twista, the OG. Um, I had a relationship with Twister for a while, like we always been cool, keep in contact, you know. Um, so when I was doing this mixtape, I was like, man, I wanna, I don't wanna be the dude that always try to lean on the Wayne features for my mixtape and try to lean on the Birdman and try to call Nicki or try to call Drake or try, mm -hmm. or try to call. I, I don't really wanna be the dude that do that. I never was that dude. I always was a dude that could go in the studio and do a twenty track mixtape with no problem. Yeah. So I wanted to kind of shock people on this one. That's why if you notice, I got Twist on there. I got Trey Ave on there. Mm -hmm. You know, I got Smoke Dizzle on there. I got Smoke. Yeah. On there, but I, I still got Gutter Gutter. I still yeah. got Vado. You know what I'm saying? I still got my man Aldo. I got Charlie Clips on there. You know what I'm saying? He doing the battle thing. And people don't even know that's like my day one homie. Yeah. Why no Weezy? Like, why no Weezy, though, man? I got a record with Weezy about to drop next week. It's about to be... Uh, a, a motion picture when I dropped that. Yeah. But I didn't want to use anything with Wayne on my mixtape. I don't feel like... I don't feel like I should put records with Lil Wayne on my mixtape. <laughs> I got a little bit more respect for Wayne. Uh, ela that, elaborate like, elaborate on that a little bit, just so the listeners don't take me, it. That kind meaning, of all right, I, got, I have a bunch of records done with Lil Wayne, mm -hmm. but that's not going to get me nowhere if I throw it on a mixtape. You're not going to respect that. You might not understand that this might really be a record that we about to put some this about to be this is a movie you might get it mixed up in the midst of all of a record so this is just another record or they just nah I want it to be when you hear the record with me and Wayne or whenever you hear a record with Jay Mills and Lil Wayne mm -hmm. whether excuse me whether you hear it first or you see the caption on the or, 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 or on your timeline you see the caption on the internet from the Jay Mills feature and Lil Wayne title of the song blah 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 mm -hmm. what are you gonna wanna do you wanna click that want to listen to that instantly you know why because you ain't heard a million jay mills and Lil wayne songs right i haven't i haven't burnt my i haven't burnt my my uh little wayne feature uh flag out you know what i'm saying you know like there's certain people that's not even down with the one i'm seeing be kid right. and every time they come out with a new project they got a wayne song mm -hmm. wow. but they'll still turn around and a cheap shot in there, Wayne. You know what I'm saying? It ain't just a couple rappers. It's a lot of rappers. I listen to the mixtapes. I'm on the internet. I'm, I'm listening to the radio and I'm in different states. I read interviews. Mm -hmm. It's not because I'm trying to be petty. It's because I'm a fan of hip-hop. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of this. I'm keeping up with what's going on. Yeah. Now, if I'm keeping up with what's going on, not completely just here, hear cheap shots and hear like little sneak distance. But then when it's time for people to do their album and we in the head factory one late night and three o'clock in the morning, who comes in here with a record that they need 16 bars or up for? Mm. The same dude that was just sneak dissing and, you know, in his interview might have said something crazy. So it go all sorts of ways, man. And I just feel like when you connect the J Mills and the Little Wayne thing, I'm not from New Orleans. I'm not a day one young money, cash money artist. Mm. You feel me? So you don't look at it the same with me. You, you look at it like, oh, this is something with Mills and Wayne. I need to hear this. 
Yeah. I don't want that to be on my mixtape. That's what you gotta you gotta pay for that. That's you gotta not pay. A <laughs> that's, a, that's a movie. There you, you go. Know, that's all you have to say. You gotta pay for me a, a track to hear. You know, feature me with Weezy. Yeah. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I got twenty three songs on my mixtape. I didn't need twenty four. Right. I didn't need another song with Lil Wayne. I got enough features on there. I got enough music of myself. I feel like I gave my fans, my followers, my supporters, the DJs. I feel like I gave them enough music on there. Me. And I still got music that I'm about to drop. See, that's see, that's why we. Like you, man. That's why we. That's why we respect you. It's not even fair. Like the records I'm about to drop in the next couple weeks. Yeah. Not even on the mixtape. So. Wow. See, that's that's why we respect you, man. Cause you you just do your thing. You know, like you do your thing, and you you take your time with your work. You know what I mean? Now we have some fan mail that we want to answer, dude. And just to all the listeners who are just now catching on, we got Jay Mills right here talking about Dead Presidents Two on that pip.com. Make sure yeah. you cop that. That's what's up. So we do got some fan mail, man. So here's somebody. The fifth one wants to know would you be willing to let him send you beats do you let you know um upcoming producers or whatnot send you beats yeah i let them send me beats at the end of the day you never know what you're gonna hear Mm -hmm. you know big name producers at one time there was no name producers Mm -hmm. so it is what it is you know yeah yeah okay here we uh we have yd beats he wants to know and yd beats with three s's he says which producers are going to be on nothing is promised Producer who did intro and the outro to Dead Presidents 2, his name is Ty Stick from New York, so my man Ty. He's going to be on uh, Nothing Is Promised. He actually did the, the title track, Nothing Is Promised. Nice. I got the young stars on there. They did a, they did a couple beats. They uh, produced God Bless the Child, and that's the type of, you know, I'll be on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, who else? I got? I got Cassius Clay on the album. Oh, You know, he did the I Gotta Get Joint with... Uh, me, Vado, and Fred. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, the joint with me and Gutter Gutter, go get it. He did that. Uh, my, 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 my boy LG, you know, he did a lot of the joints on property of potentness and potent music and stuff like that. He got a, uh, some joints on the album. So mm-hmm. like, I kind of got new producers. I got big name producers too. I don't really want to put that out there yet because it's a little too early, but mm-hmm. I'm definitely working with new producers on the mix, on the, on the album. Definitely. And producers like Jalil, Cardiac, those are my dudes. I work with them like all the time. They always send me beats. So definitely, definitely, definitely. You already know what it is. Fresh and famous, where we have fresh music and famous interviews, including this one with Jay Mills right here. Dead Presidents Two out now on NatPiff.com. Nothing is promised. When is it coming out? I feel like this year I need to hit the restart button. You know what I'm saying? Right. I had a daughter last year. I kind of took some time off. Congratulations. I wasn't really releasing music. I was traveling back and forth from Miami to New York to mm-hmm. LA, and I had sort of birth my first daughter and that kind of just like changed a lot of things for me like it, it didn't change a lot of things like changed my music it kind of put my music a little more in perspective and just mm-hmm. kind of focused me back up a little bit I'm, I'm just kind of just gonna work through this year and i'm gonna see what it is i don't really want to put no dates or nothing right now okay for sure for sure for sure we're all the fans just make sure you listen to that dead presidents too if you haven't already on that com, fresh and famous.com everywhere this dude is hot in the streets what up to new york man new york shows fresh and famous and young money so it's fresh and famous a lot of love and we appreciate you guys yeah, yeah. I, 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 appreciate, I appreciate you i appreciate you taking out the time today. definitely brother you know what i'm saying to sit down and talk to me man i appreciate all definitely the brother i appreciate all my fans my followers my supporters on the dj showing love all the blog sites, everybody showing love, and I appreciate everybody that downloaded the Dead President's two mixtape. It's my new mixtape out right now on that pit, and it's on iTunes. If you didn't download it yet, you can go download it right now. I appreciate the love. Definitely, watching definitely. It. Definitely, dead presidents, yeah. dead president, and that's crazy. You a, you a crazy dude because we talking on the phone right now, and it's President's Day. So, <laughs> Jay Mills, <Yeah. laughs> Jay Mills yeah, on the line though, man. It's all love over here though, man. We showing you guys love. Let's spin the God to solidify yourself on Fresh and Famous, man, and conquer the world. All right. Right here on Fresh and Famous Radio, it's your boy Jay Mills, New York City Zone, Harlem Zone, YMCMB's own. You already know what it is. Stand up. Let's do it. <laughs>